So let's do an example here using our relativity equations with uh, a power plant, a nuclear power plant. Just south of, of southwest of Fort Worth uh, near Glen Rose, Texas, is the Comanche Peak nuclear power plant. The Comanche Peak power plant has about 17 thousand gigawatt hours of energy output per year. Now remember in physics one we talked about how a watt is a unit of power. So watt times second is a joule. Well a kilowatt hour is how you normally get charged for electricity. A kilowatt hour is going to be a thousand watts for one hour. So you could work that out in terms of joules. So uh, we want to find out how much energy out is. So 17,000 gigawatt hours. So that's 17,000 gigawatts times 10 to the 9 watts times an hour. An hour is 3,600 seconds. And so that means that this is 6.12 times 10 to the 16th joules. So that's the energy here. E equals mc squared. So that means that m equals e over c squared. So m is e divided by e, e in this case, which is going to be the 6.12 times 10 to the 16th joules. And we divide that by c squared, 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second squared. So this comes out to be 0.68 kilograms. So what does that mean? It means that at this nuclear power plant, what's happening is in the power plant, you've got these these fuel rods, the fuel rods are made of uranium-235 plus other stuff. You know, the important part is the uranium-235 because that fissions into other things. Those other things, the fission byproducts, weigh less than the original 235. And so when it splits, it gives off energy. That energy heats the uh, fuel rods, it heats the, the reactor, that, heated, the, that heat uh, is then transferred outside the reactor, it ultimately boils water, makes steam, uh, the steam blows turbines, spins turbines, makes electricity. Uh, we talked about how this sort of thing works later on, uh, or rather earlier in the semester. And so, so what happens though is after one year of doing that, those fuel rods are about two-thirds of a kilogram less. So they're about a pound less. Okay. And and uh, uh, so uh, that's, that's, that's kind of what's happening in there. And so every year, uh, those fuel rods weigh about a pound less. They have about a pound less of of material in them. Now that doesn't mean a pound less of uranium because that uranium uh, has actually decayed and uh, split into other things that do weigh something less, but the total mass of the fuel rods is about 0.68 kilograms less per year uh, for this particular uh, uh, power plant.